So without further ado, we're off to the Aventus Stadium. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there. Martin Tyler here for you from the Juventus Stadium. Well, for Juventus, the uh, great thrill of being champions again, the old lady holding up the trophy. Yeah, and uh, good to see, isn't it? And back in what they would regard as their own ground after an unhappy spell at Stadio Deli Alti, which they never liked, and uh, looking upwards now rather than down. The Juventus lineup there. David De Gea starts in goal. The attack, Carlos Tevez starts. He was man of the match last time out. This is the lineup for the away side. Now, Alan, the away team. What's your opinion on them today? Yeah, they're a classy outfit, these, aren't they? Uh, they've shown that so far this season. And, um... They've got some resilience in the ranks as well. Bit of staying power, which is what you need, any champion needs, potential champion. And these could be that kind of outfit this year. He's on the bench, and I don't know how the fans will feel about that, considering he's been in great form recently, Alan. I don't know whether the manager's proven a point, whether they've had a little tiff, but uh, a surprise to me. So, Juventus get us underway here. Referring today, Andre Mariner. Mario Marquisio, Juventus. On the attack. Now Tevez. Good challenge here. And it's uh, Frank Lampard. To Bennett. Got the ball well to set his team on the front foot by intercepting. Well won by Lampard. Juventus with so many supporters around Italy, and they're always, every time they play, they're expected to win. Can those fans expect them to win this one? The weight of expectation can sometimes weigh them down, but uh, in a closer tie, it might suit them. It was an easy save because he was able to plot the path of the ball all the way into his hands. Challenged quickly by the opposition. Evra carrying the fight to the opposition. Jose Fonte. Cahill. Gutierrez. Attacker, well, this is the chance, got to be. Goodness, they needed him then to clear that. And it's going to be his throw here. Honest Gutierrez. The cross coming in, and the ball in is dealt with well by the defender. And he's caught the goalkeeper out, he scored from improbable range. Well, he's beaten the keeper there with power, with accuracy, from distance. Wonderful. It's a goal worth looking at again, isn't it? First goal of the game, it's 1-0. Mandzukic. Pereira. Brought some width into this attack. Great run by Evra. Pereira can have it back. Vida. Patrice Evra. Keeps it going well from that slide tackle. Well, he has a go. Nothing wrong with the shot, really, except the direction it was 
hit well enough. The goalkeeper didn't have to move a muscle except to catch it. Frank Lampard. Cahill. Well, that'll be a throw. Jonas Gutierrez. Got to cross it. Well, that's a piece of cake for the defender. It was a poor cross. Fabio Quagliarella. We've got to manage without him today. Now he's gone and life goes on, Alan. Life does go on. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big decision. It goes for goal! Oh, he's hit it very true, but just off target. Gutierrez. Cahill. It's an exhibition here with such great passing. Beckerman. Now they can use some width. That's a good pass. And now Lampard. To Bennett. He's got support here. Well, a long way out, but not a long way wide. Good effort. That's terrific technique from that distance. Nearly, nearly a goal. He has scored from those kind of distances. Not this time. Mario Marquisio. On to Gerard. Goal news from Parc des Princes, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors, 42 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. I just wonder how important that's going to be at the end of today. That was a howler. Jose Fonte. 39. Sometimes he looks a bit lazy, Rio Ferdinand, but he's got a great desire to win. We've got two added minutes. That's been signalled now. Frank Lampard. Jonas Gutierrez. Cahill. Up it got to be. And a goal into the bottom corner. showed real finesse just to place it into the bottom right hand corner and it's 2-0 here Mandzukic and the referee is blown for half time it's 2-0 here well what we've got here is and this is the start of the second half substitution taking place going on is number 12 Carlos Tevez. And the player working hard to stay in possession. Jose Fonte. Return pass. It's one back. Arturo Vida. Kedira. Pereira. Here's Bennett. Goal news from Parc des Princes. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for the visitors. 51 minutes played. 2 0. Cheers, Alan. Vidal. Patrice Evra. Well, he's on the attack and he's got plenty of options from his teammates. And that's the goalkeepers from the cross. vision to be able to switch the play there to Ferdinand and they're passing so well out there the goal from uh, the Bernabeu Alan McAnally it's a goal for Real Madrid 57 minutes please 1-1 thanks Alan
Beckerman. Well, he saw the guy he could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. Jonas Gutierrez. To Bennett. To Ferdinand. Well, that's widened the game here, and they've got it to the wide man well. He's looked to change the point of this attack. Keeps it going. In with a chance. Very good stop here. Ronaldinho to take the corner. Real power in that defensive header. Kedira. Here's an update for you from Alan McAnally from the Bolin ground. It's the second goal for Barcelona. It's been scored by Neymar. A bit of a cheeky one. He led the... Here's the chance. It's not a decisive save. And that's a throw for Juventus. Well, apologies for coming short, Alan McAnally, but... It was a goal for Barcelona in that match. The score is now 2-0. Substitute getting ready for Juventus. Arturo Vida. He can cross it now. Lichsteiner. And a quick return pass. Juventus. I think feeling a bit desperate here. Well, it's not going to be a complicated approach now. Long balls into the box from any angle. It's all about trying to win that first header. Here's Bennett. Gone out over the touchline, that'll be a throw to the opposition. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Arturo Vidal. They've got men in the middle if he can cross it. Patrice Evra. That's the way to win the ball back. He might be through. And he goes on goal. Got to be. Oh, that's what we've come to see. That's a brilliant goal. The goal from Bentner. And the keeper's got no chance because he's hit it so hard to his right. Another angle on it here. Very one-sided, really, with that goal. Fernando Llorente. Lichsteiner. Oh, too early, offside. And that pass is another accurate one from him to Bennett. Alan McAnally has got a goal to tell us about from the Berlin ground. It's a goal for West Ham United. Four minutes remain. 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Well, the keeper might want to go forward himself, but he's sending his teammates up the field. Climb well to head it to the supporting player. And it's uh, Frank Lampard. It's confidently done to dink the ball into a teammate like that. This could be it. And he goes for goal. Well, that looked dangerous, but they've dealt with it. And uh, that phase is gone now. Juventus with the substitution. Ronaldinho. Cahill. Juanes Gutierrez. He's being challenged now. Almost done for the team. Don't think for the supporters. We want to keep singing. Yeah, I think a few of them will be out on the town tonight after this performance and win. Here is Lampa. It's a very well fought victory here. The referee has now put that in the record books by blowing the final whistle. 3-0 the margin of victory. As a match, it was rather one-sided, wasn't it? Because of the capacity of one team to dominate the football.